What's going on, everybody? It's your boy Alpine King Carter here. What's going on, all my NBA All Net fans? Uh, if anybody is left playing this game, you'd already know that the gold rush is real, man. So many cards are coming out, so many different chemistries are being blown to shreds. It's insane, man. Um, your boy have been, I guess you could say, been building for Gold Westbrook. And then Gold Curry came out and got revamped. So then I started going for Gold Curry. Then they had the audacity to come up with a Gold Wade. What is wrong with this? Listen, Kick Nine, let me tell you something. If you're going to be coming out with a bunch of gold cards, just come out with the gold cards all at once because you're confusing the people, man. You're confusing everybody. So many people are wasting resources on gold cards that don't even work with certain lineups. And I just feel like it's a waste of money at this point, man. A lot of people, a lot of big guys from NBA All Net have been leaving because a lot has been going on, man. A lot of cards have been coming out. A lot of people have been spending hundreds of dollars and then they still losing in these rank matches. So today I'm here to show you guys who I'm going for in this gold rush. But I'm going to just let you guys know now that I can get one of three cards at the moment. Now, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys the cards that I can ascend. I can ascend a D. Wade. I can ascend a Russell Westbrook. Or I can ascend a Steph Curry. Now, I've been delegating with a lot of my club members. And a lot of people have been telling me that Curry is still the top card at this moment. Uh, they don't know if Kick Nine is going to nerf him or not. But I feel like if Dwayne Wade can have a 100% still uh success i feel like curry should have 100 percent shooting success so, so uh let me just show you guys something real quick all right now let's check out this d wave for a moment man let's just check it out <clears throat> so check it out man um level one too easy you can attempt to steal and increase still success rate is a hundred percent right so let's look at this curry real quick man let's look at the curry I'm going to show you guys why I feel like Curry should have the, the shooting. Now, after receiving a pass, immediately, immediately attempt a field goal. Increased field goal success rate is 100% if these are the new gold card standards of having something 100 percent because they are supposed to be the best cards in the game then i feel like they should stay the same there's no need to nerf these cards because they simply do different things now a lot of people have been telling me to go with the gold d wade because he is a steel monster but you have to have like certain spooky gear on and stuff like that as well as having another perimeter defender in your line up and use that player as your megastar instead of using the d wade in your megastar so let me go ahead and ascend my goal steph curry real quick man this has been long awaited a lot of people have been like yo ipod when are you going to get a gold point guard it's been forever what is wrong with you what are you waiting for uh my boy ao dice i just hit up the line chat and was like it's gonna happen today he's like about freaking time man so Let's check it out. Gold Steph. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. All right. Gonna go ahead and put my six uh, mythic Steph Curry's up. Now, the way that I went about this, guys, is the easiest way possible in NBA All Net and the cheapest. You have to go for a um, legendary Evo 3 card, and you only will need six mythic cards of that order. All right. So. Don't go for the, oh, I need an Evo 3 Mythic card to ascend. No, that's going to take you forever. Just think about it, guys. In order to get an Evo 2 card, you have to have six cards, not including the one that you just got. So when you first get your, like, Steph Curry, and then you want to Evo 1 it, you need two more. Then you want you want to Evo to it. You need four more. So just think about how much Evo three is going to cost you. Evo three is going to cost you six more mythic cards after that. So trust me, if you want to go for a gold card, always go the legendary route. Never. And I mean, never. Not unless you already have the Evo three mythic. But if you are starting fresh out the gate, not even owning a piece of this card, never go the mythic route. OK. But uh, let's go ahead and ascend my boy real quick. It's time, man. It's time to go ahead and break him out. Woo! 
114 overall, level 65, Steph Curry. The ascension is complete. Your boy is going to go ahead and put him in a mega star. Um, now, I'm going to show you guys. I've been playing with another card lately, and that is the Shaquille O'Neal. Shaquille O'Neal is probably going to be my next gold card, and he is a must. All right, but uh, let me go ahead and swap him out for my Steph Curry. Now, check this out. I'm going to go ahead and play some Mega Star matches because I can reset four more times and I definitely have way more diamonds than needed. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Now, the next thing that I want to do is I want to rank this Steph Curry up. All right. So this Steph Curry is only at rank eight. We're going to go ahead and rank up to rank nine. Now, it costs 2000 diamonds to get him to rank nine, but I'm going to go ahead and wait this time out. For him to get to rank nine then i'm gonna rank him up to rank 10. um it's gonna take me a lot of uh emeralds and a lot of uh ruby so it's probably gonna be a nice wait for me anyway now let's go ahead and look at training i'm gonna go ahead and put steph curry in the slot real quick and get him up to level 70. now the way that i'm gonna do this is i'm gonna actually quick train my steph curry all right the reason for this is because it's the easiest it's the less time consuming plus he can be a competitor now opposed to being a competitor in a few days so now i got a uh, rank uh eight level 70 114 overall steph curry completed now i'm gonna go ahead and um replace his card with somebody else let me see if there's anybody that i haven't trained yet oh by the way uh gold kobe gold lebron they may be in my near future i'm not sure um i heard that the levine card is just op right now so i'm not sure if i'm gonna put those cards up to anything uh westbrook i'm probably gonna get rid of all of those westbrooks and i still have two steph curry's left over but um these were my six westbrooks that i was gonna use for my ascension to westbrook i may still keep it um not knowing if they'll actually revamp the westbrook card or not but we'll see because westbrook has been having a hell of a season in real life so you know you never know what they'll do with that card and this tim duncan um i have no other card to train there so i'm actually gonna go to evo and see what my uh, Tim Duncan is at real quick. I think my Tim Duncan is all. Yep, he's at max Evo. So what I can actually do is now I can actually use this uh, Tim Duncan infusion. So I'll probably use that to get some more mythic pieces. But uh, let me show you guys my cards real quick and show my pieces. So I have 230 pieces of legendary. Let me see if I can go ahead and get a uh, get that shack real quick all right 214 let's go ahead and combine that um i ran out of a lot of mythic pieces because after the big wheel fiasco with the uh quadruple sevens it was it was like christmas day man so you know i ran out of those it's all good though um let's go ahead and evo this shack real quick see if i can um add one more to his evo Let's go ahead and add that catalyst. Now, it's going to take a while for me to get that shack up, of course. And the resource game is real right now. Um, just to let you guys know, like, it's insane on how many resources it takes to get a gold card. But I feel like it is realistic. But a lot of people that pay to play would definitely have an advantage over somebody who doesn't pay just because it's easier for them to get resources. But uh, what I want to do is I actually want to test out my uh steph curry real quick oh i didn't even put him in my lineup that's my bad but I'm, I'm i'm probably gonna yep all right crush that dude but let me go ahead and bring him out of my lineup starry nash i love you bye bye all right go ahead and put my curry in my lineup over the rank match let's see what this curry do man he only rank eight um he is level 70 though uh Let's see how he does in a match. I'm not sure um, if he's gonna put up the numbers that I've seen in guys, um, different pictures that I've seen on the line chats, but hopefully he does something. But uh, okay, it looks like he's already activated. And okay, Triple Threat has activated. And oh my God. Okay, so as soon as tip-off happens steph curry just go ahead and just pulls the three it's crazy 
um, not including he has marksman. So what makes it so crazy is he has Valiant Strike, um, the three-point threat joint, and he has marksman. So I'm not sure what's going to happen, not including everybody else's uh, crazy uh, different specials and stuff like that. But I'm going to go ahead and skip real quick, see what happens. Okay, I only put up 116. That's not what I was looking for. Um, 27 out of 32 for three. All right, he only took 18 threes this game. Um, okay, my AI did what he had to do. Okay, Julius did what he had to do. Um, I'm guessing the buffs worked for Melo. And whoop, he just came out with three for three. Let's uh let's let's go into another match. Let's see if there's somebody harder to challenge. Maybe they got a gold card. Nope. Got to play the same dude. Let's see, 123. I I think I may have to play with his gear a little bit. Um, I may have to take off the catch rate gear for AI and just uh, leave the field goal rate gear on for Curry just to make sure that he shoots the shots that he's supposed to shoot because um a lot of people have been saying that their curries haven't been really uh shooting too much okay 33 out of 41 so he took 24 threes that time at rank eight he he already taken 24 threes so i'm guessing at rank nine he might take maybe 30 35 and then probably at rank 10 he'll probably take around 50 threes because the the stronger the the point guard the better you are the better your lineup can be trust me you always want to go for a beast point guard in nba all in it trust and believe that all right i'm going up against a uh, evo three Allen iverson so let's see what happens here okay okay so this right here shows a little bit more of what can really go down with the steph curry so check it out Papa Crab went 28 for 28 from three, but I went 38 and for 40. So let's check out what Steph Curry did. Look at that. Steph Curry, rank eight, level 70, is already pulling in 31. Well, he shot 32 times, but he pulled in 31 threes against the Evo 3 Mythic. Okay, so that means that his, his challenger was actually stronger than his last couple matches, and he actually fared better against them. Now, uh, my Allen Iverson did what he had to do. Six for six for three. Um, okay, one for two for both. Three for three. And four for five. Okay, that's cool. All right. I guess that goes to show that uh, things are looking good with my Curry so far. I'm going to go ahead and uh, play League now because I'm still doing my dailies. Um, I haven't done my dailies today because I actually want to record this video. But, uh, yeah, look at that, man. Um, 70 out of 100. So let me show you guys one league match before I end this video. I do stay in the second division. Let's go into that, grab that, and let's play one match and see what happens. So let me go to my lineup. Let me take out Nash and replace him with Steph. And let's play and see what I do against. Oh man, I'm about to play up against one of my club members, AKA one of the best in the game. I'm probably gonna get blown out, so don't even worry. All right, let's see. Yep, got blown out there. Um, I'm going to show you guys that entire game, man, that entire match, because that's the type of stuff that has been happening to me, man, especially when I had my Steve Nash. In. But uh, look at this, man, 93 to 173, man. We're going to go ahead and watch that game. Let's see his card. Look at that. Evo 3, rank 10, Steph Curry. Look, and then that Levine. Look at the Levine, though. Now, this right here is a good match. Because um, once I got my card, I told him that I was actually going to go up against him just so I can start seeing what my cards do against his. But uh, checking out the levels, car level, all of that car rank, I'm lower in that. I'm higher in Catalyst and he's more developed than me because his Steph Curry is actually fully developed. But uh, let's look at stats. 43 out of 47 threes. Are you freaking kidding me? Let's check this out, man. So I definitely got defeated. Um, my rank eight only shot. Well, he only made 19 of 30, where his made 30 out of 33, and he had 21 steals. That's insane. So uh, looking at the Levines um, to Allen Iverson matchup, not really much there, but I can tell you that the reason why 
my rank eight kept getting the ball stolen and missing his shots is because of Levine. So don't think that Levine is supposed to be one of those cards that's supposed to be beast stat wise. His buffs are what kill your team when you're the challenger. Look at that, man. His goal, LeBron James, should have known my goal, Melo at small forward um his power forward he has a gold shack already look at that man five for five and five for five from three so you know what that means multi shot multi dunks is going down and the buffs are crazy and he has a gold dwight howard that shitted on my evo three wilt chamberlain and by the way he's ranked 10 so yeah um it 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 pays to pay let's put it like that it pays to pay but uh this is your boy ikc signing out man i want to thank you guys for watching this video i'm gonna holla at you guys in the next one peace some dudes win a few dudes lose nobody want to be a fan anymore niggas get too cool get it jump in the books like the blues clues do can't pay my bills with all these youtube views i'm trying to make a difference niggas savage like there ain't no jail you killed her son she know who did it think she ain't gonna tell and that's murder so there ain't no bail so you stuck until court you might as well just decorate yourself and your family broke that's why you send the remember